Hey guys, it's Diana. So I wanted to do a video talking about tips on staying in hostels. So I've been traveling for three months now, so I've stayed in a lot of hostels uh, during my travels. So I wanted to share some tips that I have that have been really, really helpful. So hopefully you guys find it helpful as well. I've got my phone here with my tips. So let's go ahead and jump into everything. The number one thing I would say when booking a hostel is to decide what kind of backpacker or traveler you're gonna be. Are you gonna be the one that wants to go out and party all the time and you wanna be in that party environment? Or are you the type of backpacker that likes a more chill environment? Maybe, you know, you like to sleep and you don't want, you know, random drunk people coming into your bunk at night or making a lot of noise. Yes, that happens. So decide which one you are. So where I go to book my hostel is on hostelworld.com. I've also used agoda.com, but I would say Hostel World is my favorite. I just really like the way the website is laid out. It makes it really easier, easy to navigate and just go through everything. By the way, this is not a sponsored video at all. I wish it was, but it's not. Uh, but I really like Hostel World. I've had really, really good experiences with that. So the way I do it is I just go to the website maybe a day or two before I'm going to that city. I look up the city and then I rank all of the hostels based on rating. So on Hostel World, you'll get a zero to 10 rating, zero being the worst and 10 obviously being amazing. So I would say anything between eight to 10 is what I look for. Sometimes if there's like no options, 7.5, but anything above eight is usually a good sign. And you'll see that in that rating, you'll get a mix of different hostels. Party hostels, you know, the more laid back ones. The way you're gonna be able to tell is by looking at pictures, to be real. Like if it's a party hostel, you're gonna see like big groups of people in the pictures, you know, beer and like, sometimes they'll even say we're party hostels. So that's something to look at. And then, yeah, you just kind of go through the process. It shouldn't take too long once you've done the whole filtering thing. The next thing that I do is if I really like a place, I'll look at the pictures and the reviews on Hostel World. If those are good, then I go on to TripAdvisor because TripAdvisor usually has a lot more pictures and also a lot more detailed reviews and more up-to-date reviews. So if that checks out, then I check in. Something else that goes into the booking process is you wanna decide how many people you want in a dorm. So if you look on Hostel World, for example, some bedrooms have like 12 people in a dorm or 20 or six. So if you want something that's a bit more quiet, I would say eight and under or six and under. Again, if you want a more party environment or if you wanna save some money, then obviously go for the hostels that have a lot more people in the room. The other thing that I would recommend when booking is don't book you know, your whole stay. Say you're staying there for a week, don't book that whole week. Maybe book one or two nights because you might find that when you get there, the hostel that you thought was awesome is actually a dump and it's gross. Pictures can be deceiving, reviews can be deceiving, so don't book your whole stay because then you're not gonna be able to get your money back or you're gonna have to fight to get your money back. So I have had the experience of where I go to somewhere where it's like, okay, it's mediocre, I don't think it'll be that bad and I get there and it's disgusting. I got into the habit or Josh and I have gotten into the habit of booking two nights and then we can move on from there if we don't like it or book more if we do like it. When it comes to the hostel, be nice to the staff. You know, in a lot of places, they are really underpaid and they really try to go above and beyond to like make you feel welcome. So don't be that annoying tourist who thinks they're better than everybody and is rude to the staff. I've seen that happen a lot and it's really just disgusting. So be a kind person in general, but definitely be kind to the people at the hostel. A lot of the times, if you're kind to them, um, They'll just be really accommodating. Like I was sick in Vietnam and the hostel was so nice to me. Like they brought me tea and stuff and they would like check up on me, which is really sweet. So I would definitely recommend just being as nice as possible. Also, if you're nice to people, it takes you a long way. Sometimes you'll um, get room upgrades. So we've had that happen as well. So yeah, something to keep in mind, just always be a kind, nice person in case you need that reminder. 
and don't be that asshole traveler who thinks they're better than everybody because ugh, so gross. Something I also wanted to mention is be considerate when staying in your dorm. Don't be that person who's going to turn the light on, you know, at 4 in the morning. Ow, my leg. <laughs> yeah, don't turn the light on at 4 or like, just don't be that asshole person who thinks they're so entitled and they can disrupt everybody's sleep. Every freaking phone has a flashlight on it these days. So use your flashlight, just be kind and try not to be like so annoying. Also, try not to have sex in your room. It's so gross, but people do that. And I just think it's so awkward and disgusting. So yeah, people, just take it easy, get a room and let everybody else relax. Do not have sex in your room, please don't. Another tip is to go ahead and just be careful with your belongings and be aware of your surroundings when staying in a hostel. I definitely recommend getting a lock before leaving because a lot of hostels have lockers or at least you should stay in a hostel that has a locker. I haven't been to one that doesn't, but a lot of them actually don't provide locks. So I would recommend getting a lock so you can lock up your passport, any important belongings, any electronics. Do not leave anything on your bed. As much as your roommate seems like the nicest person in the world, you really can't trust people that much, so make sure you just lock up your stuff anytime you're not in your room. And the last tip is to definitely pay it forward. So you found the reviews helpful when doing your research. So if you really like a place or if you really don't like a place, make sure to write a review because it can definitely help your fellow travelers out. And I know I would appreciate if a place was really shitty and somebody wrote an honest review. So definitely, you know, write reviews on Hostel World or on TripAdvisor with any tips that you have. So yeah, I think those are all my tips, guys. I really liked making this video, just talking to you guys about these tips. I really, really hope that you found it helpful. If you have any tips for me, let me know down below. Or if you have any questions about my travels, then also let me know down below or you can reach me on all of my social media platforms which will be linked in the down bar. So that's it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, definitely subscribe. I love it when you guys subscribe and I post new videos every single week. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye. How amazing and Instagram worthy does this look?